Hey guys, Tim and Shauna from Punk Rope. And you can see Shauna is in a sway back position, not where you want to be when you jump rope. However, it is a pretty common posture. And lately we've been working with a couple of students um, that do present a sway back posture. And we've noticed a few things. So first of all, let's just quick review. Shauna's going to get into sway back again. And you'll see she's going to push her hips forward. She's going to bring her shoulders back and then often the head uh, pokes forward as well. And what will happen when you're jumping rope, a couple of things. One, you're going to have almost zero power um, because you're well into your heels and you can't really activate your glutes. Your mm -hmm. hamstrings are contracted. Um, but that's not what you want when you jump rope. And then often the hands will drop. So if uh, anyone has told you that you have sway back posture, you know, whether it's uh, your orthopedist or physical therapist or what have you, um, here are a couple of things you might want to try to correct it. And, and then we'll talk about the rope jumping aspects. So first of all, when you draw a plumb line from your hips to the ground, you essentially want the hip bone to bisect uh, the foot. Well, it should be over the ankle, right? Um, it might be a little hard to see in this video, but you do not want to push the hips way forward, and you certainly don't want to push them way back. That would create an extreme lordosis, which is the curve in your lumbar spine. So somewhere in neutral, and you may have to play with the two extremes to find what's right in the middle. A mirror might help if you have decent um, peripheral vision. And then next, instead of uh, ex exaggerating the shoulders going way back. Forget the knees. Yeah, we're not gonna forget the knees, mm -hmm. but let's, let's, let's go to the shoulders. Um, instead of those going way back, they're gonna also come somewhat forward and relaxed. And then when you let your hands relax along your sides, your hands should be pretty much in the middle third of your leg. So even a little bit, probably a little further back, but certainly not way forward because that's gonna be rounded shoulders and not way back, okay? And then as Shauna was saying, you gotta unlock the knees. So <laughs> in, in sway back, off and those knees are just locked out and uh, yeah <laughs> and that's that is not going to feel good with impact um, tr trust us so soften the knees neck aligned with spine you can tuck the chin I mean there's a lot of stuff to think about so we don't want to throw too much at you and then from there, you're going to grasp the handles. And now you've got those elbows in somewhat tight and the hands are not dropped all the way to the floor, which is going to give you zero power. You need to, you need to have the hands up. Okay. And then from here, you can start your turn. Now it may feel a little weird at first because it's new, right? You're, you're accustomed to throwing the shoulders back and sticking the hips out. Um, but let's make all those adjustments, soften the knees, and now try to use the wrists to accomplish the turn. Maybe just do a few. And you might feel a little contraction of the abs instead of a stretch of the abs, right? When you're in sway back, your abs are just completely stretched out. So then the core doesn't really come into play very much. Can't use it. You know, you're, you're stretching it instead of contracting it. So many, many contraction of the abs, not too exaggerated. Uh, it's a lot of stuff to change. <laughs> But give it a shot. So we'll try a few more here. Yep, between those two extremes, soft knees, neck with spine. 
hip over the ankle. Now you can get some power into your turn, landing on the balls of your feet, looking straight ahead. And hopefully this will become your new rope jumping posture. And then if it carries over into your regular posture during the day, you know, all the better. Because you, you, you don't want to walk around, sway back, certainly not down the street, um, or you don't want to stand that way at work. Um, a bunch of things are going to happen that are, that are not optimal, okay? So a uh, little deviation for us getting into, you know, a postural deviation, but uh, we hope that was helpful for those of you with sway back. Don't worry, lots of us have it. It's not a horrible thing, and it's certainly correctable. Um, if this was helpful, feel free to give us a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have questions, jot them down below. We'll answer them as soon as we can. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.